Perfenidone is an oral antifibrotic therapy which is used to slow disease progression in patients suffering from idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. This oral treatment was approved by Health Canada in 2012 and by the FDA in 2014. IPF is known to be linked to increased fibroblast proliferation, excess collagen synthesis, and increased concentration of reactive oxygen species, each of which contributes to the scarring of lung tissue and progression of IPF. Perfenidone has been studied recently in regards to IPF treatment due to the antifibrogenic, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties. By limiting the production of fibrogenic molecules such as TGF-beta and TNF-alpha, perfenidone inhibits the proliferation of fibroblasts and collagen. This was demonstrated through various in vitro and rodent models over the past five years. These models also demonstrated a reduction in TNF-alpha and IL-6 cytokines, which are known to promote inflammation. This led to an anti-inflammatory response throughout the body. Lastly, perfenidone is found to eliminate hydroxyl radicals, which limits the exacerbating effects of oxidative stress on fibrotic lung tissue. The capacity and ASCEND trials are two recent multinational randomized control trials that were conducted to study the safety and efficacy of perfenidone. These studies indicated that there is slower disease progression in patients who took perfenidone compared to placebo, as measured by the decline in forest vital capacity, or FVC. FVC is an established measure of pulmonary function in IPF. It was observed that at one year, perfenidone reduced the proportion of patients with greater than a 10% decline in FVC, or death, by approximately 43.8%. Perfenidone was also observed to increase the proportion of patients with no decline by 59.3% in comparison to placebo. Adverse effects of perfenidone include gastrointestinal problems, adverse skin reactions, and central nervous system reactions as listed below. For more videos, please like, comment, and subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel.